First, Fort Worth Animal Care and Control making a public plea for help now. The shelter is at capacity and in desperate need of people to adopt or foster shelter animals. CBS 11's Brooke Katz live at the Adoption Center on Martin Street, where the shelter is busting at the seams. Brooke, again. Yeah, Ken and Gilma, the shelter has seen more than 600 animals right now, and they've seen an influx of dogs like this, Dubby, bigger dogs right now, and that's why they're waiving fees for dogs that are over 35 pounds. They're hoping that it will encourage people to come out here and give these guys a forever home. <laughs> oh, it's just really sad, and you just want to take them all home. Angela Townsend came to Fort Worth Animal Care and Control to find a new family member. It was hard not to take one. And she has plenty to choose from. There's over 80 animals in here. Over the last week, the shelter has seen a spike in people surrendering their pets, and a plan to move 30 dogs to a new location fell through. Now they're packed with pups in need of good homes. Our intakes have been up all year long. We've been getting in more dogs than we did last year. Um, so we're really relying on adopters and fosters to help us out. Tony Hiller, the superintendent, says their goal is to save as many of these dogs as possible. They work to get them with fosters and rescue organizations, but the need right now is for adoptions. We want to save these animals' lives. I mean, our whole goal is to save their lives, get them into a new loving home, and we need the public's help with that. For Angela, the decision was easy. They said that she's already been here for so long and she's been back twice. But who could resist those eyes? She came right to me at the gate and she had the saddest eyes ever, so she had to be mine. <laughs> Eight year old Nova, tail wagging in joy. You see babies? Oh, there's a baby. Ready to start a new life with her new family. So part of the problem here is the growth in the area. More people, that just means more pets. And the shelter is opening a new facility next year that will be bigger. Help them with that. Again, the adoption fees for dogs over 35 pounds, those are all being waived right now. They have all been spayed or neutered and microchipped. So far, they've done about 30 adoptions over the past two days. They'd like to see that number grow. We would like to get Dubby. We're trying to get him over here, but it's live TV. Dubby is more interested in sniffing around. But again, so many pets here, guys, that need a good home. Too bad. We